Yeah, my number is 302 UI 3545. Kids these days, you know, our kids are really struggling to find themselves and to see who they really are, you know. But when they find out who they really are, they they most times feel ashamed, you know, because uh, they come from a broken people and they don't want to feel like that. You know? It's a long struggle ever since you know the Europeans came over. You know, they use God's word as a weapon of war against our people, so our people don't see the Creator as a loving God anymore. They see Him as a God of war. Yeah, right. And, you know, it's, it's hard to tell the people the truth these days because, you know, their, their concept of the Creator has changed or evolved into a different way of life, whereas, you know, I see it the way I was taught from our ancestors, you know. And I taught my kids like that as well, you know, and I want them to know that, you know, the Creator is real. And he really is a loving kind of God, you know. It's just up to you to fulfill your walk in life, you know. And whether people know it or not, we're all headed together, going the same direction, in the same boat, but on separate pathways, you know. I believe in both sides because, you know, from what I know of our culture and of the Holy Bible, they're both pretty much the same thing. But, you know, you take a bucket and it's like taking a bunch of crabs in there and, you know, the, we call it the crab effect where one crab is trying to crowd the bucket and the crab will grab the other crab and pull them back in. And the same with our people, you know. One one is rising to the top and the other one wants to reach up and pull them down. And another one wants to come up there and help out of wherever. Then everybody wants to reach up there and pull them down. Three zero two, U one three five four five. That's my reservation number. Yeah, right. And she's also got one too. We all got numbers. I don't mean it to be like this, but for for me, I see a concentration camp more than a reservation. You know, it's you know they never wanted us to leave the reservation. You know, but how do you prosper where there's no work and there's no jobs? <laughs>